Dealing with the loss of our loved ones can affect each of us very differently. One of the hardest things in the mourning process is dealing with what happens after the burial process ends. Well, joining me now in the studio is Tovit Naisel, co-founder of the Israeli company Memontage, which has found a way to help you immortalize the lives of your loved ones for generations to come. Tovit, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, so let's begin. Tell us about what you guys have created. We've created um, a grief social network. It's a place where everyone can gather after a loss of a loved one and share the memories. They can collect them. It's like a therapeutic tool on the one hand. You gather all the memories of that loved person. It could be all sorts of memories. The songs they loved, the recipes the mother made, the loved uh, movies, things that made them laugh, their sayings and quotes, and share it with others who can in their turn add more memories of that person. So you get a big mosaic of, of that memory. What we say is that a person gone is the sum of all the memories he left in all the hearts of the people he touched. So then you get a big picture of that. On the other hand, another thing we have is the place where you go, the social network grief, which you can ask questions and you can address strangers or your families and share your tears and your, your emotions. Many years after that person died. Or so, so now, is this platform, I mean, when you come onto it, the, is it separated, I guess, into different groups based on the type of lo loss that you mm -hmm. maybe experience? I mean, how do you necessarily connect with somebody who might be going through a similar type of loss? We have search options and we have tags. So you can tag all the stories, let's say, your dear love, your beloved died from cancer, so you would tag it cancer, and then you can search through other people who went through the same loss. How did you guys come up with the idea for this? Um, well, after my mom's Shiva, we actually had to because she died abroad, so it took a long time till she came back. Um, I was going through this process that took me a long, a long, very long time to deal with it and process it and cry. And then I thought, what if you have a digital Shiva, having all your friends from wherever who couldn't come to the actual Shiva, who can come many years after or never knew that person. My husband never met my mom, but we still share memories. And I tell my daughters about her. There's so many things I want to say and I want to, to give them that, that legacy that she left, to have some place which is forever. Now, how many people are currently using this service that you guys have created? At the moment, we have a closed beta, so we approach people. We have a few hundreds, but this is like a trial. We test it, and we see the response, and what they need, and what they look for, and then we work on it. What is a response been? I mean, this is very different than what really exists out there in terms of dealing with grief. I can imagine that people are kind of shocked by the fact that this exists, no? No, actually, no. They were looking for these things. Some have used um, digital memorials, but they felt like they were more static and did not answer all their needs. But we do it differently. We have all kinds of memories come, come together in one place. Like I said, the recipes come together with the song that made them laugh or they sang them off key and all the photos and all their sayings. Everything is live there and you actually celebrate their life. It's not a sad place. It's the, the respectful, the meaningful, and sensitive setting. It's the home for people in grief. It sounds like you guys have created something that's really going to touch the souls of many people. And I know that, uh, I mean, I probably could have used that too when I lost my grandfather recently. So I think I'm that uh, this sounds like something that could be very therapeutic. And I hope that you guys have a lot of success. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you're looking for more information about Memontage or even want to invest in the company, you can actually do that. Just go check out memontage.com.